another little video on the Brick Tutor have uh, pretty well got the little cooking room all squared away put the inch and a half insulation in the walls and the ceiling and had cleaned out the major mess have uh, well if, when we get to it it shows that put them in some racks for cooking I should have uh, got a last picture they whitewashed the inside of it I mean it's not a bright white but just enough to take the dreariness out of it but this doorway and door frame well the entire building because of the plates being rotted off you know I jacked it up squared it up lined it up fastened it all back up put the insulation all up and uh, then proceeded to start cutting OSB to seal it up even made a halfway trim section out of OSB just cut into two inch strips to cover any and all spaces you can see the bottom of the door there in that last picture it had to be cut off and refit re back in it just a building that sits below grade just doesn't do very good when it's sitting in the water all the time ran electric put an LED light in there which seems to make quite a little bit of light I wasn't sure if one was enough but at night time it's plenty bright in there ton of hooks for cooking utensils now this starts the back door replacement this thing was quite the bare remove it out and as you can see in the concrete what they done they poured concrete over the old floor and it's at least four inches thick four and a half but I'm taking the wood framework out now the actual door frame it was uh, well it's so far out of square the uh, actual opening thank goodness once I broke all the mortar out of the bottom of it where they had done a halfway fill and, uh, well as you can see here the uh, mortar there and then this offset there on each side I ended up having to concrete saw that out of there to end up making the outswing door fit in there properly and it's still not exactly right it's just good enough I guess the hinge pins then I <laughs> which don't know how much good it is but when you have exposed hinges that's definitely not the best way to do something so I heated and peened all the hinges, took them off and peened the ends of them so that there's no way you can get the the uh, hinge pins out or you would have to uh, well I mean you know, a thief can do anything a lock and a door only keeps an honest person honest but yeah there I remortared and leveled everything so for the new door threshold to set on and uh, it cut back into the brick and reset two buys now here's the day of the start of getting the new door figured out and put in there it was uh, it is an actual outswing exterior door but it didn't come set up the way I thought it should have but then I don't know how many exterior um, outswing doors I've ever put in. I've been thinking about that. But yeah, here I cut the uh, concrete back so that the door would actually set back to where I could get to the wood filler strips. And for, uh, well, the house is a hundred and 15 years old still
still in pretty good shape now as far as this add-on I'm not sure when it was done but the inside of the garage is stuccoed yeah you can see the gaps before uh, well I shimmed it so it was plumb and straight ball directions and then once I got it fastened into the wood fillers yeah, as you can see through the shims I hated to have to normally I always roll the door seal up and hide the screws under the door seal but in this instance it just couldn't be done so uh, I used the I don't know the door and window foam and foamed all the gaps sealed it in there the uh, no daylight nowhere so I hopefully got it pretty good then I went ahead and got PVC vinyl and made up the trim the uh, at the right side of that picture you could see there's a cabinet there that they had poured the initial concrete in the old thing up onto four inches but yeah you can see the exterior hinges but that vinyl cut and fit and scribed everything and there I got it all sealed good with um, a Loctite polymer sealant with the uh, it was the closest color I could find but then um, well uh, get ready to trim and paint yeah here I've got the door removed and um, got it all mask off used a good uh, that rust-oleum plastic paint scuffed it all good wiped it down with denatured alcohol sanded the door and wiped it down ended up having to put three coats of paint on the outside of this door but the trim done very well other than the edges the cut edges I mean you could just soak it with the sprayer and uh, it just soaked right in but eventually got it to where it looked pretty good I plan on using hydraulic cement then and filling in that last little gap on the inside of that threshold then I'll paint that step up bright yellow but it's funny when you walk through there you don't notice it I mean I don't know if your eye catches it or what but no one's tripped going in and out it and had people there the door once it was painted I've got a white on the inside to match the inside and then the dark brown on the outside customers more than happy compared to the garbage they had a lot of work and doing one of them and cutting brick well thanks for watching